Welcome participants. Now we are going to move in lab demo 4. So, in this I am going to introduce you VBED machine technologies, how we operate this machine and make fabric on this particular VBED machine. So, in this particular week you have already learned about double bed knitting machines and VBED is one of double bed uh, knitting technologies where we use two sets of flat bed. Just the basic introductions, what is actually a flat bed weft knitting machine, especially the V bed. You have two needle beds and you have two needle cam for each of these beds. So, one cam jacket for back bed and another cam jacket for front bed. And we create technical back and front loops on the same course with the help of two sets of needles and these needles moves in opposite directions at a certain point of knitting. So, let us see how we operate this machines. So, the first thing in front of the machines you have to supply yarn. So, the first part we are going to see how yarn is being thread in this particular machine. So, let us see how the yarn is being thread. So, this is the yarn similar to the single bed machines uh, here in V bed machine also the yarn has to pass through guide and tensioner system. So, it has first passed to the first guide, then second guide, then the, the first set of tensioner, then again the second set of tensioner. All this is done to make sure we have uniform tension during knitting process. So, another guide after that it is being supplied to the feeder zone. So, this is the feeder zone. So, the first guide and this is actually the feeder hole. So, we supply the yarn to the feeder hole. Once the yarn is being passed to all the uh, position, then the yarn is then passed from the center of these two beds and then it is hold from the bottom side. Now, the feeder is having the yarn and this feeder will supply the yarn to the needles on these two beds. After the yarn threading is done, the next part is needle selection. So, we need to ensure how many needles we want to operate on each of these beds. So, to select the needles, obviously we have already introduced you the active position of butt and non-active position. So, in active position the cam jacket actually select the needles and in non-active positions uh, the needles remain stationary. So, depending on what is the width of the fabrics you want to create, you need to select number of needles on each of these beds accordingly. For the selections, let us see. Um, so, here uh, how you can select uh, the number of needles on each of these beds. So, this is the front bed. So, you can simply push the jack from the back side and it will push all the needles on the top side. So, in this way the position of the butt. So, each of these projected part is actually one of the um, needle butt. So, in this way you can place all the needle butt in one that particular location. From the back bed also you can do the exactly same, same thing. You can push the jack and you can select the number of needles depending on what fabric width you want to create. You will check whether the cam jacket is actually selecting all the butts yes or no. If any particular butt is not exactly in the same locations, then it may create a problem. So, now you can see active position of all the selected needles. So, these are the active positions of front bed needles and these are the active position of back bed needles depending on the position of cam jacket. So, the butt, uh, the position it will depend uh, on the positioning through which it will actually strike the rising cam of each of these particular cam jacket. So, once needle selection is done, once yarn threading is done, then we can supply the yarn in this zone so that the needles can catch the yarn. So, this is the uh, supplying yarn, actually the first course formation. So, we are now catching the feeder and feeder is also moving along with the cam jacket. So, here you can see um, now it is being fed to each of these needles. 
So now each needles on front bed as well as back bed has now holded the yarn. So the first loop is being pulled by each of the needles on front bed and back bed. So this needle is making technical front and this needle is making technical back because I am standing this side. So um, once this is done, then we need to create a mechanism to pull the fabric on the downward directions. So for pulling the fabric, we need to make certain arrangements. So for that, we need a metallic bar and that has to be pulled by dead weight. So let's see here what exactly you mean by fabric pulling because so far nothing is pulling the loops in the downward direction. So to create, to do so, we provide first needle bar here. This is, this is some kind of metallic bar and in this metallic bar, we can fix the dead weight. So you can see here this dead weight is pulling this metallic bar downward and because of that all the loops which is being formed is actually pulled in downward direction. This was also done in case of single bed with the help of comb. If you remember, if you see the demo number 2, you will realize the functioning of comb. So once this is done, then we create, we run only the front bed to create additional loops. After that, we run only back bed to create additional loops so that the metallic bar can go inside so that it should not create hindrance when the needle is moving simultaneously. So if you run this metallic bar and run both the needles without uh, making sure that the needle bar go downward or the fabric being that, that metallic bar go downward, then there may be chances that it can hit with the needle. So after we put the dead weight, we need to make sure we create single jersey fabric on one side and then single jersey fabric on the other bed side so that the metallic bar can go inside. So once this is done, now loop is being formed in a very smooth fashion and you can still uh, make the fabric depending on whatever length you want to create. So this is the process, you can, you can keep taking the cam jacket from left to right, right to left depending on how many courses you want to create. So each traverse will create one course. This is how we make the fabric in a weaved machines. And weaved machine, as I told, this is one of the most popular machines because this gives you a lot of flexibility. You can anytime uh, close one bed and operate on a single bed machine. So anytime you can create single jersey as well as double jersey, uh, depending on the design of the fabric. So once we will move in week number four, uh, we will see how we can utilize the potential of both the beds and two cam jacket to create different designs of the fabrics. So this is um, um, the end of this particular demo um, about functioning of V-bed machines. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.